Okay, can I finally get this jail unit started and actually continue with a at least a somewhat decent start now? Like, oh my god. Yeah, this is my uh, third attempt trying this segment. The first time I failed because I was rambling on about completely nothing. The second time I completely forgot that I couldn't load save states while I'm recording because the... Well, I couldn't quick load. Uh, while I'm recording, because quick load is F9, and unfortunately, if I press that, it would pause the recording and do absolutely nothing with this. It's what I. It, it, it's something I realized when I tried reloading. Like when I tried save. reloading a save state in the Zero Mission playthrough. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, if you saw the description on part two, uh, you'll know that I have been contemplating turning this from a normal mode into a hard run. Yeah, I decided to go with it, because uh, if you've seen Segment 3, you will know how easy it was to get through the warehouse area in uh, Segment, in that particular segment, so I decided to go screw it, and, you know, why not, figured I might as well go for the hard run, because I genuinely think that it's good to have a bit of a challenge in this LP. Like, I don't really know why I never did have that. And it's nice to know that I can use those to kill my opponents. Yeah, there's three Berserkers around here. That's two of them taken care of. There's the third one coming around to have a crack at me. This is the least trouble I've actually had with them. The last segment I kind of got juggled between them and got smashed. Now, there's a few flyers here. I found that using the shotgun actually is kind of effective. I, for the longest time, questioned the effectiveness of the shotgun against flyers. I think that's proven a fair bit about how good a shotgun is against flyers. Despite that, I'm not using the shotgun for the flyers that are in there, because I, because I can get close enough to kick their asses. Now, okay, sweet. And he obvi and of course he had to go for and set the alarm off. Well, for that you can get a grenade to the face, except you missed it. Seriously, why the hell do I keep missing that? Yeah, that got you good and dropping it, didn't it? Okay, now I've just set off a bunch of enemies. Let's lob a grenade at them. Hey, I'm in it. Boom. Well, there goes that. Whoa, look out. Yeah, look out for that, I suppose. S just this kind of clusterfuck of enemies here. I've got no idea what the hell was going on there. It's times like those I wish I had the railgun. Because, like, if the gunner does not know that you're there, a single railgun shot will give him. And I'm going to switch the alarm off right there because that shit's really annoying me. See, so yeah, get rid of those flyers. Um, well, that jacket... No, I don't think that jacket armor is really necessary at the moment. Because I've got 49 armor, which is actually pretty decent. If I get that jacket armor, I'm only going to gain one more point. At least I'm pretty sure I'm only going to gain one more point. Now, let's do the right thing here and actually save. Okay, so we're all good here. Hopefully I don't have to scrap the segment again because I kind of saved over that save point, which would be so incredibly annoying. So, uh, I don't get this thing. It's an explosive barrel, yet it takes a shitloaf to blow it up. It's just some kind of random enduro thing. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna make a backup save here. Because as soon as you walk here, yeah, it sets that uh, whole security system off with lasers. Uh, normally it would be a good idea to just jump through it methodically, but I'm gonna try to wing it. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. So we're gonna try again. Um... Yeah, it sets that, sets that off. God. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is bad. That... Oh, okay. So we're kind of there. Got it! Sweet. And I wasn't aware that those had enemies in them. I guess because they didn't. I 
guessing because they did it in easy mode. I mean, this is hard mode now, so every, anything's fair game. Thankfully now, the lasers will not switch back on, even if I walk past this a billion times. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lob a grenade up there, because I do believe that there are... Um, so, yeah, uh, they're bad, yeah, no, I cannot talk. But yeah, Berserkers. I don't know why two direct shotgun blasts do not kill that one. Oh yeah, that's right, Berserkers have more health in hard mode. Ow. I'm starting to think that, that jacket armor is definitely necessary. I'm gonna need a shitload of stuff, of whatever the hell is, to get that thing, to get whatever is behind there. Which actually reminds me, I'm gonna save. Because I need to save big time. Because I'm gonna head down, because I'm gonna head out here. And then there's this thing. It's just this enforcer that's controlling this freaking rocket launcher. Get rid of that. Sniper shot those, and yeah, uh. Hi. Big frickin' bipedal motherfucker with a rail gun. Ah! Where the hell are they coming from? Jesus. So, anyways, now I can give a form of proper introduction, even though this is a dead body. Uh, so they get out of the gladiator. They gave it a pretty decent name considering it's what it does. You've got this claw which is pretty monstrous and then there's just this honky fucking railgun on its other arm. It's just... It's kind of unfair how they can get a railgun long before you ever have a chance of getting one. You don't get one until the fifth unit. Which is pretty lame source. It kind of sucks but I will. So yeah, head down here and there's a bunch of boys. Bunch of armor shards, so that jacket armor is fast becoming useless. Because I would like to pick it up. But I know for a fact that jacket armor is only going to push my limit to Whoa, what the crap? Ah. Okay, he set an alarm off for something. And I just switched set alarm off, and I'm going to use a chain gun to kick this thing's ass. Seriously, that is so incredibly annoying. Okay, so we got fans here. Blow that up and the fans are deactivate. Uh, let's see. How many breathers do I have? I have the one. I kind of thought I'd have more than that, but I guess not. Um, okay. I could jump down there with the rebreather. Uh, actually, yes, that is what I'm going to do. Yeah, I didn't think it would. I didn't think it would take. Yeah, I'm kind of kicking myself, but I guess I can get some good use of, out of it if, if I can grab this bunch of goodies and then jump back through here. I guess. At least now we'll know if there's actually sharks down here. I get to find out the bloody hard way. I'm actually swimming in the freaking waters. No sharks, but there are. Oh, Random pack of grenades. Oh, uh, yeah, not gonna go that way. Instead, I'm gonna go back the way I came and risk taking water damage. For some reason, I can't carry that silencer with me. I guess, I guess I've got a limit to that as well. Doesn't really matter anyway. Silencer's the most useless thing in this freaking game. And we got more freaking alarms, and this one I don't think even has a switch. That's the bad part. <sighs> Alright, so we're gonna jump up here. Switching that opens that gigantic door. Yeah, I had to take as, as less, like the least amount of damage as I possibly can. Uh, well, nice to know. Uh, Actually, yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to head back here. Okay, those ladies... Okay, they're f okay, we're fine there. I'm going to head back here and grab this jacket armor. Even though I'm probably only going to get as, like of six points from it. I'm going to grab this. And then if I need any extra armor, I will come back to main gate. And that way I won't have to walk 
That way I won't have to hike as much back to grab that other jacket armor that was hidden, hiding in that little depository. So yeah, jacket armor only pushes me up to 50. If I still had a, if I still had combat armor, I probably would grab the both of those and just walk straight out of there and would have been pretty awesome. But then again, I would have only gotten 24 from the t from the both of them combined, which is less than one if you had a jacket armor. But it would have been it would have been awesome source anyway because I had combat armor which can absorb more hits. Oh god, yeah, I can I can just you can just hear them. This is probably going to be a shit out start. Might as well get cracking. Oh my god. Seriously, stop doing that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that wasn't so bad aside from taking that one shotgun. Taking that one grenade. Oh god. There is a tank out here, and I'm going to have to deal with it. Uh, how many quad damages have I got? I got two. There is a limit of two in this run. They rec in the Quake Wiki reckons you have a limit. You can only hold one in medium and hard mode. That's just not true at all, because I'm holding two of them at the moment. So, let's go. Cake. And I might as well take full advantage of this because there is a gladiator down here. Blow that away. And you know what? Because I can, I'm going to set the alarm off. Because that sets off some flyers. Got as much purchase out of that quad damage as I possibly could. I am now happy. And. Oh, come on, you can't switch that alarm off. Damn it. Alright, well, I got the blue key that I needed anyway. We'll charge up the shells. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I collected a bit. This thing was guarding a bandolier. Which is actually pretty nice since I can now hold up to 150 shells. I believe the yeah the bullet limit is now 250. The cell limit is 250 as well, I believe. Uh, the grenade limit I believe still remains at 50. You gotta wait. You gotta get the ammo pack to max that out. Okay, so. I just grab those and get a nice shitload of surplus on these things. Okay. Berserkers. Really not that threatening. I do hear a parasite though. This place is pretty well known for annoying parasites. So there's a red key door. Can't really do anything with that yet. Go up this ladder. This elevator though. And you can quite easily see that there is a gladiator over there. Damn. Yeah. I'm just gonna blow it away with the grenade. With the shaker. Ow! Yeah, I think it's. I think it's a well. I think this has been a well stated fact that getting hit with a railgun shot is obviously not going to be met with much approval by your body. And a random shotgun. And I can jump over there, except... What in the world? Okay, I made the sound like like I jump, I was jumping, but then I just didn't. Like... I'm so confused. But yeah, yellow lasers, of course, walk into these and you're dead. That's the computer to shut them down, but it's being a dick and taunting you like that, because you've got to go all the way around and deactivate them from another area. Which, I believe, is only accessible once you grab the red key. So we gotta go this away. And say hello to the berserker who really wants to get nice, up close and personal. It just, no. You can play with my boomstick when you're dead. Okay, so... Ow! Ow. Fuck. You suck, game. Seriously, you suck. Well, at least you were gratuitous enough to give me easy access to a button that switches off the lasers that guard that guards the quad damage. 
I'm going to save now. Uh, where do I want to save? Yeah, I'll save there. Okay. Okay, they're not bad. Whoa, okay, maybe it is a bit bad, because... Oh, God. Yeah, I for completely forgot about the little area up the top there. That's where the god... That's where that goddamn... Oh, jeez. Uh... Hey, what in the world? Combat armor, nice. I know that there's a, um... Switch up there that... That sets this thing to off, but I wasn't... But I was completely on a... Whoa, jeez. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh... Yeah, the first... Yeah... You can rest assured the first thing I'm doing is grabbing this. Now, what did that accomplish, might I ask? It's just a... It... Or... Well, eh, 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 I don't know. I'm guessing if you don't get out, like, by the time that shuts... I guess it's just a button that lets you that let that raises this again and lets you get out. Nice to know I've got this uh, combat armor though. That's actually pretty awesome. Um I think while Oh god. Yeah. Saganate medics. That's what that's why you want to give these things a re wait. What? The jacket armor still gets me a max of 50. Well, that was a waste of time. Yeah, the noises, by the way, are coming from these things. I have no idea why in the world I'm killing these guys like they're my men. Well, like they're my soldiers, but, nah. They're just soldiers that I work alongside with. Oh, crap. Sneeze, sneeze, sneeze. Don't you dare sneeze, motherfucker. Oh, God. There's two of them. Using one of these. And I bet you there's a... And I suppose... And I guess I'd better take advantage of this quad damage by getting rid of the tank here. Well, got some good use out of that quad damage as well. <laughs> nice to know that I can get some really decent use out of quad damage. Now, must ask a question about this area. Um, I do believe that there was a way to get here. I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I think I had to switch... Yeah, I think I've got to flip this switch. Do that. And I can do that. Sweet. Yay. And I get another adrenaline. And I can go down here and get some cells. Go down here, get another adrenaline and the power shield, which I'm activating immediately. Power shield pretty much provides an armor for your armor. Which is... It's really decent, actually. Power... You know, if you don't have actual, like, armor, like in combat armor or anything like that, that thing will definitely take a hit for you. I'm pretty sure it will, but anyway. So yeah, uh, these guys, it's pretty inhumane to kill them, but they do drop goodies for you. And hey, look, rockets. Even though the rocket launcher is actually not in this unit at all. Or at least not that I know of, it could be in a secret that I am yet to discover. But yeah, shoot them and they'll give you goodies. Okay. Now that I've got that sorted out, I get to go on to the next level. Which I believe is, what is it? Processing Security Complex. Sweet as. Um, I don't want to do any exploring in this as of yet, so... And we're getting up to about 20... Yeah, we're getting up to about 20 minutes, so I'm not going to do any exploring in this segment. I'm going to save that for the next segment. So yeah, next time we go through the security complex and beat the shit out of this gunner that's torturing one of my soldiers. See you then.